Hello, I'm Philip Russum, the uh, Research Director for Data Management at TDWI, the Data Warehousing Institute. Uh, we're here at one of our conferences in San Diego, and I am joined by Evan Levy. Evan is the Vice President of Business Consulting at SAS. Hey, Evan, I heard uh, you taught a course this time, and I believe it was on data strategy. Yeah, in fact, the, it's a class that we, um, it's a brand new class. It's how to build your company's data strategy. Mm -hmm. And um, it's actually in response because everybody is kind of overwhelmed with, do I deal with Hadoop and big data, and what about my warehouse, and what about all the data stores? So it actually tries to put in perspective how do you plan and how do you put all the pieces in place to build, build a strategy for a company's data. Yeah, exactly. We hear a lot about that. In fact, uh, our uh, Las Vegas conference for years has focused on different aspects of building a data strategy uh, for the company, as you said. But also, um, uh, in some organizations, they have strategies for different pieces of the company, in particular, infrastructure around business intelligence and the data warehouse. How, you know, how does strategy vary according to that kind of scope? Well, one of the things that we, we focus on when, when you have to build a data strategy is there's five basic components mm -hmm. because what you want to ensure isn't that a data strategy is cookie cutter, it's the same for every company, but you try and focus on what the strengths or the needs of the individual companies are. And there's five basic areas. One is identify and describe. The second is provision and share. Third is stage and store. The other is integrate and move. And then finally, govern and manage. And the reason for these five general areas is with identify and describe, it's how can I find where the data is. On provision and share is who's allowed to access and all the details, technologies, and, and rules. On, on the stage and store, it's where is all this content. On integrate and move, there's so many different technologies, tools, pieces, and parts that ensure that people can pull the data from the different places. How do I make sure that I identify the requirements and the details? And then finally, the govern and manage, what are the company's policies, if they in fact even exist, that we have to put in place, if they don't exist, mm -hmm. to deal with? So we break it into five different areas so you can then, then understand which pieces and parts are necessary. That's great. Your list of five is a great structure. It should help a lot of people get organized and get going. Uh, speaking of structure, however, um, uh, a lot of times people ask us, so what's a nutshell definition? So if somebody says data strategy, what's, what's sort of the uh, Cliff Notes version for that? Actually, 25 words or less if you can. Oh, I'll give it my best shot. <laughs> Why do you have a data strategy? Because you need to have a roadmap and a plan to identify what you're going to do with the company's data and how mm -hmm. you're going to support accessing, sharing, and managing the content. Very good, very good. I, I'm going to write that down later and use that. <laughs> Man, Thank I may have you. only been 21 words. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Now, also my impression, and this is one of the reasons why our Vegas conference is typically do devoted to uh, data strategies and uh, more and more data architectures, uh, I get the feeling that uh, a lot of data, data architectures, uh, as well as data itself, tends to be evolving a lot, and it's driving a need to companies to revise architectures, but also revise strategies that go with that. I mean, do you agree, and what do you see driving some of these changes? I, it, Traditionally, uh, most of the strategies inside the information technology organization has been very operationally oriented. Mm -hmm. I need a new CRM system, yeah. I need a new ERP system, or I need to support certain financial functions. And what people are starting to realize is the need to analyze, uh, support, whether it be advanced analytics or simple reporting, yes. is, is growing to, in fact, even a greater aspect. So one of the things that becomes incredibly important in developing the architectures is understanding what are those drivers? And, and to that point, one of the things that we've pushed folks to realize is broaden who it is you're talking to. Mm -hmm. It's not just the data warehouse or the analytics users. In fact, there's three basic audiences that should drive building the architecture. They're not building it, they're providing input, insight, and requirements. Okay. And it's really the business operations group, the people that are running and managing the company, the folks that establish the company's business strategy, where are we going to go and what are we going to need to do? And then third, and, and very importantly, the information technology organization itself. All too often, this data strategy is very, very focused in the data warehousing and analytics world. In fact, it needs to be broadened inside IT to where it's actually inclusive of all the applications development and the operations groups. Excellent, again, a very nice list of three. Let's go to the one in the middle there, it's a, about the business. Um, Kind of my gut feel is a data strategy uh, shouldn't be all technology. Uh, there should be some concerns, uh, some uh, uh, understanding of what the business strategy is. 
and then figure out how data and IT, data warehousing, et cetera, can support that. Is that, does that make any sense to you? A, a complete agreement. Um, all too often you find two religions on developing where are we going with our data, either to support the tactical business operations of mm -hmm. when a customer calls in, I want to know all the details about them. But you have to be cognizant and aware and sensitive to where's the company going? Are we going to be changing markets, supporting new products, changing the way that we do business? Having that insight into where's the company going will give an insight to the new types of data and information that we're going to need, and potentially the types of analysis and operational functions the data needs to support. Excellent, excellent. Again, uh, uh, great information. And uh, here in closing, I, I want to thank you for uh, uh, sharing lots of tips to us to get us seeing the big picture of strategy and uh, even how we might get going to it. And uh, thanks for teaching that course. So uh, here in closing, I'm Philip Russum at uh, the Data Warehousing Institute here in San Diego. And uh, with me is Evan Levy. He's the Vice President of Business Consulting at SAS.